okay so today what we are going to discuss about it's about the power automate desktop that we are going to discuss about this power automate desktop why i'm going to start this session i'm telling you right now recording is going on first of all this is the product by the microsoft this is the product by the microsoft i am working with this microsoft domain it's more than 15 years i am working with this microsoft domain even it's around 20 years more than that i start working with the microsoft from the bb platform visual basic at that time it was only bb then it was the dot net and for the so on microsoft having one properties what property is there with the microsoft product i am telling you they are going to kill the market either the market is going to belongs to microsoft this is the characteristics of the microsoft i am telling you from the marketing strategy from the product wise the quality wise they are going to kill the market trying to kill that this is the properties of the microsoft like either the market is belongs to the microsoft they will be number one otherwise they are going to destroy the market why i am telling you this line earlier it was the java in the market java was released in 95 1995 java was at peak i am telling you the people don't have anything in the background like uh, if they can open the notepad now at that particular time the trend was even the person can open the notepad was trying to learn the java and go to the usa that was the strategy <laughs> so basically that was the pattern in 2003 in 2003 microsoft launched the dot net and believe me they killed the market of the java I am telling you that was the big slowdown in the market. The entire company, entire sector, like that was really a tough time for the industry. Like was that was the biggest slowdown. That was the biggest slowdown. Now you can ask me the reason of the slowdown. The reason of the slowdown was there was a simple reason. The reason was the entire Java applications required JVM, Java Virtual Machine. And what is the location of JVM? At that particular time, the browser was Internet Explorer. Now we have the Chrome and a lot of other browsers are there. But at that particular time, only the browser was the Chrome, like Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer belongs to Microsoft. Earlier, JVM was there in the inbuilt uh, JVM was there. What they did exactly? They removed the JVM from the Internet Explorer. How the Java application will run? Further, like a lot of settlements and a lot of things happen and all. And now, after that, like uh, the Microsoft was the top competition, was the .NET was there in the market. And parallelly, because Java having so many features and all, and .NET having, so now the parallelly they stand, the .NET, Java, .NET, Java, Java, .NET. It's a stand parallelly. So, what I'm trying to say, I'm trying to say I know the behavior of the Microsoft, like how they are going to, how they are going to react with the market. Earlier, there was nothing in the RPA from the Microsoft. They like uh, just four or five years back, they come to the this RPA platforms and all. And nowadays, like uh, we have this power automate desktop. In the power automate, we have the two things are there. This is slightly confusing. In the power automate, we have the two things are there. One is like we have the power automate and one is power automate desktop. The two different technologies are there. One is the power automate and one is the power automate desktop. This power automate is basically earlier known as Microsoft Flow. Microsoft Flow. 
and this power automate desktop no no it is it's a power automate desktop this power automate earlier it was the microsoft flow this is the part of the office 365 this is the part of the office 365 so basically it's a kind of online service you have it's a kind of online service you have you are going to automate the process and all it's an online service you are going to log in with the office 365 if you have the license and all you are going to do that so one was the micro power automate microsoft just defined that the power automate okay it's for the automation that's it now we have the power automate desktop it's a desktop version we have it's a desktop versions we have so this is the enterprise level tool okay this is basically the enterprise level tool enterprise level tool this tool is basically the enterprise level tool for creating the automated desktop centric workflows and according to the microsoft this is the attended robotic process automation it's what the rpa what the microsoft describing this power automate desktop what are the course content what we are going to cover over here so the reason is why we are going to start with this microsoft automatic automate desktop recently from last six months one year we are getting so many requirements and it's coming in the power automate desktop parallel earlier the trend was it was the blue prism then switch to the ui path blue prism ui path blue prism ui path nowadays it's a ui path otherwise it's a power automate desktop they are talking about automation anywhere is also there in between but right now recently what we are getting like maximum of the company if they are looking for the rpa expert they are looking for the rpa professional their requirement is like okay ui path it's fine have you the knowledge of power automate because we are trying to switch in the power automate recently i am getting this feedback from the different companies and all last six months one year this power automate desktop it's a microsoft platform for this rpa it's an enterprise level tool we have all the automation features are there the beauty of the microsoft platform is i am telling you the beauty of the microsoft platform is it's a drag and drop it's less lines of the code you need to write already we have the methods and all that you need to include like here we don't need to write lines of the code and all so basically it's all about the companies it's all about the trust and that's why we are going to start with this power automate desktop already the ui path is there already the blue prism is there automation anywhere is there but in the rpa sector nowadays like every company now either they are shifting towards or they are planning for that particular power automate desktop because it's all about the trust if you are going to ask the client like we are going to automate your process in the ui path or if you are going to ask the client we are going to automate your process in the microsoft power automate desktop what you think what the client is going to respond client is going to respond okay it's a microsoft okay go with the microsoft platform so this is recently what happened like especially what i am talking about especially the if the client origin or especially in the europe market this power automate desktop is there maximum of the companies they are using this power automate and that's why the specific requirement and so many times i'm getting these kind of requirement so i was planning okay we should start with this power automate desktop okay and recently i'm working with two three different projects with the power automate desktop and that's why i'm telling you because the things is coming up so if you have the knowledge of the power automate desktop right now this is the beginning we have like we are in the beginning like this is the start of the power automate desktop regions so if we are uh, we, we are going to start with this power automate desktop definitely it's going to helpful for you in the future if you are going through the nokri.com if you are going through the google.com and all lot of requirements are there with the power automate desktop definitely it's not as it is at it's in ui path or it's in blue prism or it's in automation anywhere but it's coming up it's coming up the trend is going like this the trend is going like this it's coming up earlier the six month was there before just the six month back it was the less requirement was there but now 
from last six months what I am getting over here like it's growing things are there in the market so this is the trending one and if definitely if we are going to learn and the most important thing if you are going to start with any particular technology in the beginning always you have the advantage of that now the UI path okay in the blue prism in the automation anywhere in compared to other programming languages other technologies these are the things also these are the new things right now in the industry so many company even don't know the RPA even the professional don't know if you are going to ask them like I am working with the RPA you need to explain them it's the robotic process automation so but perfectly fine but in the RPA domain if people are familiar with the RPA they are familiar with the UI path blue prism but now this Microsoft Power Automate desktop is growing like anything so it's a good time to start with this Power Automate desktop definitely we are going to get the advantage of that got the point properties wise characteristics wise if I am talking about see the entire RPA what we need to do it's all about the automation automation means what we are going to automate the process so at least at last what we need to do we need to automate the desktop like we need to automate the PDF we need to automate the Excel we need to automate the mail we need to automate with the database and all this is what we need to do we need to apply some recorder we need to apply some scrapper skin scrapping desktop scrapping and all so ultimately the RPA tool is the same like it's going to do the same thing but definitely the platform the environment the way of doing all all these things will be different so this is about the power automate desktop so what we are going to start with we are going to start with this power automate desktop okay this is the first thing the entire duration is going to take around yeah it will take around two months it will take around two months because so many things are there so many things are there the good thing about the power automate desktop honestly speaking the good thing about the power automate desktop like here we have the capabilities to connect with multiple scripts you are going to connect with the javascript you are going to connect with the python you are going to connect with the dot net you are going to connect with the vba visual basic for application so lot of things are there that we are going to connect and all so the duration it will take around two months and see everyone is busy nowadays people don't have the too much times to and i'm telling you then uh, like uh, this is what i'm feeling like some some of the time i'm telling you uh, like uh, recently i feel that that like this is the problem like maximum of the time people are getting the problem because we have the less no contents are there in my session people are facing the problem because so many things are there because boss if we need to do the things we need to cover all these things we don't have any shortcut we don't have any shortcut so what are the automation topics what are the topics we are going to cover we are going to cover each and everything it's not like that it's working it's not working what are the things over there has to work and it will work okay so the duration it will take around two months and everyone is busy nowadays so I'm not going to like uh, it's in hurry like we are going to uh, everyday session people are not going to do the practice ultimately you need to do the practice it's a tool so you need to apply the drag and drop you need to go get the properties in the property you need to make the changes so that the like it will take like we have the three days session in the week it's a three day session for one one hour for one hour session so we have the one hour session three days in a week it might be a special session we have on, on Sundays some of the time we can plan this a special session on Sundays but our schedule will be this and this will be the schedule like Tuesday Thursday Saturday this is the schedule we have we have the schedule is there like it's a Tuesday Thursday and Saturday and this is the same time we have it's 8 30 okay it's 8 30 p.m. IST it might be some of the time we are going to start the session from 8 p.m. IST okay but this will be the time we are not going to make any changes with that either it will be 8 30 or it will be 8 because uh, <laughs> in the USA now the daylight saving a start and our time get reduced half an hour so half an hour we need to join the company and all like um, with the company laptop and all so that's why I'm telling you uh, like uh, this is the time we have either it's 8 30 to 9 30 or we have 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. okay now topic wise if I am talking about like what are the things we are going to cover 
so initially we are going to start with the basics we are going to start with the basics like what is this rpa what is this power automate desktop how we are going to install this power automate desktop what are the different components over there and here we have the actions here we have the actions like the people from the ui path background like there is the activities here we don't have the activity here we have the actions so we have the action lot of actions are there so initially we are going to learn about the basics definitely in the basics what we need to do we need to learn about how to display how to take the input how to declare the variables these are the basic thing that we need to do like we are going to start with this uh, how to display how we can take the input how we can apply the conditional statements how we can apply the different loops like how we can apply the case over there how we can apply the else if else if over there how we are going to apply the loop and all so these are the basic thing that initially we are going to do for this is like uh, how we are going to create the variables and all how we are going to work with the list the collections and all how we are going to work with the variables how we are going to work with the list how we are going to work with the arrays so initially we are going to learn all these basics over there all these basics over there once our basic get completed we are going to start with the excel automation we are going to start with the excel automation we are going to read the excel we are going to write the excel we are going to work with the dynamic data we are going to work with the formulas we are going to work with the filters and all so we are going to work with the excel automations over there under the excel automations like excel automation is a kind of thing this is the backbone of this entire rpa the entire rpa ecosystem is based on the excel ultimately you are getting the data fetching the data storing the data into the excel so we are going to learn entire about the excel automations after the excel automation we are going to learn about the pdf automation we are going to learn about the pdf automation after this excel automations we are going to learn about the pdf automation how you, we are going to work with that after this pdf automation we are going to learn about the mail automation how we are going to work with the outlook how we are going to work with the gmail and all how we are going to sending the attachment like downloading the files and all how we are going to put uh, the html bodies and also we are going to learn about the mail automations over there then we are going to learn about the recording and all here also we have the recording here also we have the scrapping methods are there we are going to scrap the data we are going to learn about the selector we are also going to learn about the dynamic selectors and all so this is the thing that we are going to do got the point so initially we are going to do all these things over there then we are going to learn about like uh, the coding standard and all how we are going to maintain the coding standard coding a standard and all and after that like we are also going to work with the error handling mechanism like what are the error handling mechanism over there and then we are going to work with one project over there then we are going to work with one project over there that particular project will be based on this entire basic things over there after this what we are going to start with we are going to start with this uh, advanced portions over here in the advanced portions we are going to work with the database actions we are going to work with the database actions how we are going to connect with the sql how we are going to execute the sql command how we are going to work with the stored procedure and all remember this is the beauty of the microsoft entire microsoft product is like they have the good compatibility with the database because they know the basics that's the difference between the microsoft and other companies because they know the basic tell me one thing whatever the technology you are working for it can be any technology in any particular technology what are the things available that we need to do in any technology we have the two things are there one is the front end one is the back end back end means how to store the data means where we are going to store the data we are going to store the data with the sql server with the excel with the ms access with the oracle with any database we are going to make the connections so here we are talking about the database actions here we are going to work with like uh, how we are going to execute the sql commands and all here we are going to discuss about how to work with the stored procedure and all 
that we are going to discuss about for that purpose i will also show you like how to write the stored procedures in the sql server then how you are going to call into this database actions over there so we are going to learn about that then we have the scripting action we are going to work about the scripting action a scripting action means how we are going to connect with the javascript how we are going to connect with the vbs script and all how we are going to connect with the python how we are going to connect with the dot net how we are going to invoke all the methods and all so we are going to work with that we are also going to work and here also like before this like here we have this option is also there that we need to work on a string handling we need to work with this string handling we need to work with the regex and all we are going to work with the regex and all. regular expressions and all so here we have this script actions over there here also we are going to discuss about the files files and folders we are going to discuss about the files and folders here we have the script actions are there here we are going to learn about like how we are going to use compress action over there like how we are going to work with the zip file and all how we are going to work with the xml automation how we are going to learn about the xml how we are going to work with the json data suppose you are going to call the api and all it's going to return the json data so we need to understand how we are going to extract the uh, informations from the json and all so we are going to work with this json and all and finally what we are going to learn about so these are the thing that we are going to learn initially we are going to complete all these basics then we are going to put this advanced portions over there in the advanced portions we are going to learn all about this then we are going to work with the schedule share and monitor the desktop flow then we are talking about how to schedule how to share then we are talking about how to monitor the desktop flow and all so the admin part i am talking about we are going to discuss about it. monitor desktop flow so we are going to discuss about the scheduling sharing how we are going to schedule the board how we are going to share how we are going to like your application is ready how you are going to put the applications to the client and all we are going to discuss about the monitor desktop flow and all and here also we have one project and that particular project will be based on the database it will be based on the database this project here we are not using any database and all in the background we are working with the xml and remember when we are talking about the database i am also going to use the excel as a database i am also going to apply the sql statement with the excel and all so this is the entire content we have that we are going to learn about now you can ask me a question santosh there is any re framework no we don't have any re framework at all right now like these are the technology like it's in like in the developing stage so the things are coming up right now these are the things available over there so we are going to work on this got the point so this is the content we have the good thing about the entire content is whatever the contents are there the content is going to be same it's not going to in the ui automation ui path also we are going to learn about the mail automation here we are also going to learn about the mail automation in ui path also we are going to learn about the pdf automation here also we are going to learn about the pdf automation the good thing about the entire part is what are the content we are going to cover according to the microsoft platform we are going to learn about this entire thing and all Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can apply that. We can do that. We can do that. We have the option for this. Yeah, we have the option for this. It's there. We can do that. it's not only the desktop application we can also work with the web applications it's all about the web and all no no as such there is no any limitation only the thing is that like if you are going to compare the power automate with some other rpa tool it might be some part is missing over there but more or less 
what the automation is required see here we have more than 350 actions are there more than 350 actions are there so the things is there like everything is there only the thing is that you just need to like right now see basically these are the technology it's a new things in the industry right now it's coming it's coming like uh, so right now it's not in that full-fledged version definitely it will be after two three years it will be in the full-fledged and all the capability and everything will be there but right now these are the things we have like the people from the ui path background the other background they are tracking about the re framework and all here we don't have here we don't have but the things are there like you can apply this because because the thing is that the entire architecture is entirely different got the point so this is the content we have we are going to cover the projects and all all these are content we have and we are going to start the batch from tomorrow okay tomorrow will be the first session today my agenda was just to get confirmed like what are the content we have what are the things we are going to do and how we are going to approach for this it's fine so tomorrow we have the session that will be the first session there we will start with the installation the configurations and all and then we will start with the basic stuff over there okay yeah yeah our schedule is basically tuesday thursday saturday means it's not tomorrow it will be on saturday at the same time we are going to connect okay we are going to connect on Saturday at the same time. I don't want to disturb this schedule and all. So we have the session on Saturday at the same time we are going to connect. It's fine for everyone. Any questions from your side? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not the part, but if you will ask me, like I can do that. That's not a problem. Yeah, that's why I'm telling you because cloud I'm not covering over there. Here I'm like power automate cloud is a different thing. Power automate desktop is a different thing. So basically my course content is it's about the power automate desktop. But if you have some like if you are going to ask me the question about that cloud and all, I can give you the answers. I can I have that knowledge. Okay. Okay, so thank you so much.